Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about how to spend your first $1,000 on Performance Max and generate success, right? Um, so this is not going to be a full like campaign build-out tutorial. This is going to be a series of videos showing, you know, daily, weekly optimizations on like what we're doing to scale our efforts and the challenges that we have to overcome. So if you're new to Performance Max, you know, I can just do a really quick rundown. What Performance Max is, is it's an automated campaign solution that finds users and potential customers across different channels. Gmail, Display, Discover, Google Search, even YouTube, right? So um, it's really important that you have asset types across all of those channels. And, and I'll dive into that in a little bit. But basically, you give Google a lot of room to find users. So it takes time, right, to, um, to generate quality conversions. And it's really important that you have the conversion uh, activity and behavior set in your conversion goals section. Um, and we'll, we'll dig into that. So it's first week. Um, you know, we're, we're, we like to scale up our budgets, and I do this for all of our clients. I never, you know, put a ton of money in day one. We're, we're learning and we're scaling because we're trying to build a system that works. Um, so yesterday we had $5 a day. Today we have $10 a day. It's starting to spend, um, and Google's basically telling me, hey, Conversions haven't really come up yet. Um, you Something's wrong. Improve your asset groups, right? So Google's going to start to give you some insights. And you can dive even deeper, and it says everything is green, but you've got some ad strength issues. You should check into that. Um, so we're going to go into our assets. Um, and even right here, again, another highlight. One of our ad strengths is poor. Two of them are excellent. Okay, so we're going to dive into the asset groups and see, you know, what's going on here. Um, so we got to figure out which one of these is poor. So it's actually asset group number three. Uh, and we're just going to go and edit this asset. So this asset group is specific to users that search for white label marketing. Um, so what we do, we have a few services. We're a pay-per-click agency, right? But one of our big offerings is that we offer a white label PPC for agencies. Um, so this asset group is really supposed to be tailored to that. But Google's saying this is a poor asset group. So we're going to see that what this says. Uh, to ensure that your customer's information is protected, use, okay, so it's basically an HTTPS error. So we're going to just really quickly copy this, load it up so we can get the correct URL. Okay. Um, I'm wondering if that's it, if that's the only issue. Um, it says, enter more unique headlines. Your headlines are too similar to each other. Okay, so now let's go and we'll make some adjustments. Okay, so I cut some of the, the massaging out, but I did want to kind of just, you know, come back and talk about what I just did. So it takes a little bit of massaging to get to where Google hits that excellent button, but it's really important that your ad strength is that excellent if you want to move on. So now that I made those adjustments, I'm going to hit save, um, and then we're going to go into our insights and our overview tab again and just see basically like what is Google saying? Is there anything else that we can we can make adjustments to? Okay, your optimization scores at 100. So that's really good. You know, when you're running a highly automated campaign, again, this isn't paid search. So you really have to rely on opti on your optimization score and your Google insights. Um, okay, so ad strength, we have adjusted. It's, it's in review. So that should be... Um, Fixed. We're going to dive into conversions really quick just because there's something I want to touch on that you want to be monitoring. When you're running a campaign like this, conversion data is so important. And so obviously, like, I have one conversion, I have a lead, but you want to add behavioral secondary conversions that can kind of tell Google if people are interested or quality and they can... It's like um, the slow approach of getting um, engaged users. So I added a few things here. I have... I have a few videos on my website, right? People are watching videos or they um, start it or they're watching part of it. If they're scrolling on the site, right? If they're not bouncing, those are my secondary conversions. And that's me just telling Google, um, hey, this person you found was interested. Maybe try to find some other people. But by putting it as a secondary conversion, you're not telling Google, this is what I want fully, right? You're basically telling them, this is in the right ballpark, but we're still looking for this primary conversion because this is what I want. This is what I'll give you credit for. I'm not going to give you credit for this, but use this information to find valuable insights. So this goes back to the core of what Performance Max is, right? It's you giving Google guardrails, but letting them then go out and find new users, right? It's highly automated, but you have to make sure you're 
you're going in there and you're telling Google what you want relatively, right? Um, because that helps the learning process much quicker. Um, great, so this will be you know, our first video. In the next few days, we'll see the types of insights that we have, and we'll dive in on round two of you know, spending your first $1,000 on a Performance Max campaign.